Hello, welcome to another episode of Mama Cat's Rock and Eat. And Happy New Year. We've been gone for a little while over the holidays, but we're back and we are going to make today Mama Cat's turkey lasagna. Here is some of the ingredients. And you'll see we have sauce, we have some cheese, we have some um, spices and Parmesan cheese. And what I usually make lasagnas with ricotta cheese. Today we're gonna use cottage cheese, so we'll see how that turns out. I'm sure it's gonna be fantastic. And ground turkey meat instead of ground beef or sausage, which is a little healthier, so after the New Year, it's kind of a nice way to go. We're gonna do that. So let's get started. And the recipe will be in the description below. I already did my noodles, so you'll see them here. I laid them out on foil. I, I boiled them, just a little salt, a, a drizzle of oil in it, just so they don't stick, and they come out so nice. And now they'll be all ready to layer. And I did that ahead of time to save time on the show. All right, so now we'll start the meat. I bought this big pack, three pound of turkey meat. We only need two pounds. So I'm gonna use the, the other pound for tonight's dinner. I'm gonna turn on my, I'm just doing mine in a pot like this because we're gonna make this for the meat and the sauce all one pan. I use ground turkey a lot. It's just a little bit healthier and you don't know the difference. Some people say, yes, I do. Mm, you don't if you put the right seasonings in, you don't. Here goes the meat. And you might think, why, <laughs> why mama cat are you not eating lasagna for dinner? It's because we are taking it to California. We're gonna pack it up in this, we're gonna take it and cook it at our kids' house. It's a nice thing if you need to take it to a party, you can cook it there, you bring it cooked of course, but it tr it'll transport in the car on a car ride to California on a cooler. So that's what we're doing. All right, the meat's starting to cook up. I'm gonna turn it up a little more to medium high, break it up. Now we have to let that cook, okay? So, oh, you know what, let's do this. You put about a half a teaspoon of salt. So I'm just gonna shake some on. I just eyeball it, but you might wanna do a, a teaspoon, I'd say. Just enough to season it. And some pepper, the same, a good amount. And then a little Italian seasoning. You could put a teaspoon, you could put two. I just like to sprinkle it. And a sprinkle of garlic in it too. Let's season the meat a little here. All right, so while the, the meat is cooking, we're gonna make the filling with the cottage cheese. So what we will do is put one egg, and I'm gonna just crack it in here, and I'm gonna mix it up a little bit, put everything else in there. And now we're going to put in one and a half cups of cottage cheese. I have low fat, you can use whole, whatever you want. I like eating this too, so I always, this is something I usually have around. Next. We will put in a teaspoon of oregano or Italian seasoning. I'll kind of do heaping because I love Italian seasoning. It's good on frozen pizzas too. It makes it extra good. Okay, so one half teaspoon salt, stir this up. And the last thing you want to put in here is Parmesan cheese. And this is grated. Could use shredded as well, whichever you have, and a half a cup. I'm really excited to make it with cottage cheese because I usually make it with ricotta cheese. Stir it so it's combined. That's good, doesn't that look good? <laughs> Maybe it doesn't look so good now, but it's going to in your lasagna. Oh, and the pepper. Again, I'm just gonna eyeball it. I have my shaker, half teaspoon. I'll just put a few grinds in there. All these flavors will come together and be so good. All right, let's go back and check our meat again. See how that's coming along. Just break it up. It's all nice little pieces. Oh, I gotta add my secret ingredient. I almost forgot. My favorite. This is my favorite thing to add. Some fennel seeds. Adding this to ground turkey recipes gives it a sausage um, seasoning flavor. It really adds a lot. That's a, that's a um, secret that I would like to share. Try it when you make uh, you know, any kind of Italian foods. Put it in your meat. You can even put it in ground beef for, for that flavor. And I just do just a healthy couple shakes and it just really sets it off. It's really good. It's optional to put in a little bit of red chili pepper flakes, which I love. 
I'll just put it in one shake, just a little bit. I don't want to put in too much because the kids are going to eat it and they're not going to want it too spicy, of course. And you can always put it on top at the end, like you do on pizza. Okay, so now back to this. In a minute, we can start assembling this. I'm going to use four cups of cheese and you could use four cups of mozzarella, but for the second packet I got was Italian style blend shredded cheese that has provolone, romano, parmesan, fontina, and agiago. So I thought this would be good. So I'm mixing it up. That should give it just even more flavor. Okay, I think the meat is just about done. Another thing with ground turkey like that, it's lean. You don't even need to strain it because it, there's not much fat in it. I think it's about ready. Let me see again. You wanna make sure you get it well cooked. Really only takes a few minutes. So in your comments, let me know what else you'd like me to make after this. I think this is done. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my jar of marinara sauce, 24 ounces, um, spaghetti sauce, marinara, whatever flavor you like. You can make your own sauce too, of course, but this just saves you a little time and steps. Stir it up. Oh yeah, that's looking good. There wasn't any, any water in this, so I just left, or oil, grease, so I just stirred it in. Now, we're going to want to spray our pan. Usually I'd use a glass rectangle pan for this, but this is my traveling one, so just spray it, whatever pan you have, so it won't stick. Okay, time to assemble the lasagna. We're gonna do this in uh, three times, repeat the same process, which is sauce, noodles, the cottage cheese mixture, and the mozzarella. So we'll repeat that three times. We're using 12 noodles and that'll be it. Okay, so we have our sprayed pan and we will start with some of the meat sauce. Not too much of it on the bottom. If you had extra just red sauce, you could use that too on the bottom. It won't matter. Now we'll put four noodles. You'll see it's not too hard to make a, a yummy lasagna. Okay, so the next one is, what is it? It's the cottage cheese. So you'll do the cottage cheese layer, part of it. So just kind of eyeball it. Get it all on there nice, as even as you can because you're gonna want every bite to have some of this. Oh, it's going to be so good. I've made a lot of lasagnas, but I've never made one with the cottage cheese mixture. So it'll be fun to do that. So now the mozzarella. I'm gonna put half of this bag, which is one of the cups. Oh, you know what? I'm going to put this whole bag. So this is two cups is going to be on that layer. That's going to be a lot of cheese, but you know how cheese is. You want a nice big cheesy layer. Get it nice and even. All right, now we will do another sauce layer on top of this. Another thing I do is when I make lasagna, I just make up my own rules and layers. And I'm try I tried to follow, I, I mixed several different recipes that I had found, and I, I'm making up my own which is great to do, but I'm trying to follow the layering rules that they put to see if it makes a difference. Because I like it when you go to a restaurant and it's layered and you see the layers of the lasagna. You see I have a, a bottle of wine here. This is a red tempranillo that will be very good with it. You could have a Cabernet, you could have Sangiovese, you could have a Chianti. Any red wine will be really good with this red sauce. All right, now we need more noodles. Four more, Just layer them on. All right, there's four more. I'm gonna turn this one this way. Then the rest of the cottage cheese layer. So I'm actually doing two layers of the cottage cheese. Spread it on there. That's one thing. Don't don't sweat the small stuff. If you know you messed up a layer that you were trying to follow or something, it's all gonna be good. But like I said, I wanted to try these specific layers to see how it comes out. So the end pieces are good too. You don't want to cheat the people that have the end pieces. Now. We'll do mozzarella again. We'll do the Italian shredded cheese. Can you imagine how yummy that's gonna be? All right, so I'm gonna save the rest of it for the very top, and now some more sauce, and then the rest of our noodles. So there's that, and now we'll finish the next noodles, and then the last mozzarella cheese. So four more. It really works nice on the foil like that. And to have it done ahead of time, done. just get the noodles out of the way. There's also the, the non-bake noodles that you just put in. I've never done those, but then you can try it. Okay, so there's that. And now the last one is cheese. And 
this is what's gonna get all bubbly and yummy. I'm gonna just put a little bit more Italian seasoning on top. And it'll look pretty when and be tasty, but it'll look nice when you see it all bubbling, all the cheese on it with the little green. All right, so that's it. Look how this is what it looks like. Now I'm gonna use the same foil I used for my to dry my noodles on and let them cool off. And I just made a little cover from it. And then I didn't have to waste that foil. And you just cover it up really good. Now the nice thing is I have this little lid too. So that'll go right on top of the foil and it's ready to go in the car on some ice in a little cooler bag and it will make the trip to California for the kids. We're gonna have a great time. All right, so here's Mama Cat. Now we got the lasagna to California to the kids' house and here they are. Look at these boys, Elias and Issa. And the little Cyrus is asleep. So now we're going to cook lasagna. You guys want lasagna for dinner? Yeah. Raise your hands if you want it. Raise your hand. I think our cameraman does too. Okay, so we're gonna put it in at 375 for 30 minutes, covered with foil, and then we'll do 30 minutes or 25 uncovered. All right, so the timer went off and Cyrus says, take out the lasagna, mama cat, right? See what this looks like. Ooh, that looks good. Look at that. Mm. All right, so we're gonna Cut it up and we'll show you a piece of it in just a minute. Let's give a taste and see what we get. Thumbs up. Let's get Elias a taste. I think the look says it all. And let me get, take a taste. All right. Thank you for watching another episode of Mama Cat's Rock and Eat. Come back next time. We're going to make something sweet. Sweet? Yeah. Sweet? Yeah. All right. I put some sauce on there. Cheers. Cheers.